Liam, Liam, I've got you. I've got you. Okay. He came at me with a knife. I had to do something. You claim in self-defence. Yeah. Were you by yourself? Yeah. Got the intel on the Parkway crew. Gary Wilson. He's number one. Heads up the outfit. Hey, look at this. It's before the 999 call came in. It's Jasmine Harris. I don't think we can discount the idea that Jasmine's in this way deeper than she's letting on. Jasmine, you're going to be released on bail. I know you think you did wrong by that girl, but this is a completely different case. I wanted to keep her in custody for one more night. One more night. Yeah, you are your own. Turn those out, will you? People are going to go down for Jasmine's rape, Carl. It's a dumb deal. See, I can't comment on that because I was in custody when it happened. Well, we know that the rape is directly connected to the murder of Liam Martin, which you will put your hands up to. Not murder, self defense. Self defense won't play. Not if Gary Wilson was there when Liam was killed. We know he's behind all this. We know that Gary Wilson is your boss. So come on, Carl, do yourself a favor. Come on, Carl. Look, it's been a long night. You look like crap. And I ain't giving you Wilson. So let's call it a day, eh? We go ahead and arrest Wilson, Simmons, and anybody else identified at the scene of Jasmine's rape. You want to wait for a statement? No, because I reckon once people see we've got them in custody, we might get witnesses coming forward who can link them to Liam Martin's murder. I want Wilson in here now. Question something which you later allow me call. Mm. Whether you do so, maybe given an evidence. Do you understand? Are you all right? Of course, I'm bloody all right. What's going on? Get yourself dressed. Yeah. Get dressed. Come on. Colin Simmons, what are you your suspicion of rape? For what? Right. Say anything, but may hardly defend. Hey, you're not going to get away with this. I'm not going to get away with this. Excuse me. Um, Jasmine Harris? Just through there. How are you feeling? The nurse came to see me. She asked if the guys who did it were protection. I told her one did and so you didn't. I couldn't remember the rest. <laughs> you should have seen her face. Sorry. Does that disgust you? I'm just very sorry that this happened. I tell you what pisses me off. They're messing with my face.
How many of them, for God's sake? We're not sure there might be some already in there waiting. Seven? More? By the look of it. Parkway crew. Yeah, it's looking like that. I've spoken to the wall sister, and you're okay to be discharged. Now, obviously, we're going to take you somewhere safe. I've already got somewhere safe. All oh, right, where's that? The estate. Jasmine, you can't go back to the estate. Yes, I can. I need to take a statement from you. Now, we can do that here if you prefer, but it would be better if we did it back at the There's station. There's nothing to talk about. Everybody knows what happened. We need names, Jasmine. We need the names of the boys that raped you. Okay, we think it's around this time that the gun was fired and called in by a member of the public. Now, that is Colin Simmons. That is Gary Wilson. And that's Derek Bailey. Yeah, also a Parkway crew, also a dealer, and we're out looking for him. She was being punished. They knew she'd spoken to us about Liam Martin's murder. Or maybe it was a warning, do not hand us Wilson. Probably a bit of both. I mean, it seems to me that these boys don't waste too much time in mulling things over. This was all done in broad daylight. She should never have been released from custody last night. Come on, we all know that's the truth. We didn't arrange any protection for Jasmine. If you want to self-flagellate, do it in the corridor. OK, listen up. Inspector Smith still at the hospital talking with Jasmine Harris. Hopefully she'll give us a statement, but uh, apparently she's not been very cooperative. What a surprise. However, if she identifies the individuals we've arrested as those that raped her, we could get a result. So a lot is going to depend on the interview. And a lot will depend on the interviewer. Well, Grace made good progress with her yesterday. I'm happy to go with that. Good. So, we've got two rape suspects in custody. Yeah. I'm happy to lead one of the interviews. Right, you take Simmons. Wilson's mine. In the meantime, I think we should get down to the estate and talk to as many people as possible you think might be able to help. And also forensics. Because a gun was fired during the rape, and I want to know who did it. Sir. It's not as clear cut as that. You were gang raped. Stop saying that. But that's what it was. You've got to try and take that in. It was my fault, and I won't be making the same mistake again. I was stabbed or something. So what about next time? There won't be a next time. It's me talking to you like that got me in this mess in the first place. So the boys that did this to you are connected to Liam's murder? Just leave me alone. Look, we found your mobile at the scene. At least let me take you back to the station site and pick it up. Never get the feeling they know something we don't. Mm. Every time I set foot on this estate. Did you know 75% of people, when left alone in a room with a tea cosy, will put it on their head? You're a freak. Sergeant. What have you got for us, Eddie? Oh, it's like DNA soup. There's no such thing as a clean scene on this estate. You can get something, right? I can get you bucket loads of samples, but whether they're the right samples or whether they got anything to do with Jasmine Harris's rape is a different matter. All right, well, what about the gun shop? Yeah, that was unique. Look, we dug out the bullet. And what was the target? Well, it's difficult to say, but the rape victim was found right here. Maybe she was uh, kicking, screaming, and the gunshot was to scare her. Quite no doubt. Well, they didn't just rape her, they beat her up. I mean, why would they need a gun to intimidate? They're already using their fists. Well, the weapon was definitely discharged. There you go. Colin, Jasmine Harris was the victim of a very serious sexual assault. CCTV evidence, which I'll be happy to show you, tells us that you were there with Jasmine and a group of young men at the time that assault took place. Is that right? Jasmine was gang raped. I believe you were part of the gang. You got that on CCTV, did 
me doing it. You were seen going into Nayfield House, Wilson and several other men were yet to identify. The rape happened at that place at that time. Yo, there ain't no CCTV in Nayfield House. You were there? Listen, you might see me outside. You don't see me inside. You were there? I didn't touch her. Don't know what happened anyway. She was raped. We have evidence to suggest that a girl was raped last night. And reason to believe that you were one of the men who carried out the sexual assault. So I'll ask you again. Has an allegation of rape been made against me? I'm making that allegation. Has a woman or girl come forward and said that I raped her? Well, things are changing on an hourly basis. New suspects have been brought in. New information has been put on the table. Mm. But right now, we're discussing a rape case without a victim. Have you heard of that before? Because I haven't. Well, like I said, things can change very quickly. And I guess I'll just sit tight. Look, do I have to come in with you, or can you just bring the phone out to me? Well, now that we're here, why don't we just go outside and talk about this whole thing a bit more? I'm on bail. Perverting the course of justice. For Liam's death yesterday, right? Yeah. Look, say I talk, will all this go away? Let's just go inside, eh? We've already got a camera and a voice recorder set up next door. All you've got to do is give us your account of what happened. Yeah, nice one. Jasmine, you want them to get away with it? Look, someone's coming to pick me up. I've got to go. Jasmine, for once in your life, help yourself out. Give us their names. Jasmine, it's OK. I could explain this to you a million different ways, but you'd never understand what happened to me. It's nothing unusual. It's not as big as you make it out to be. It happens all the time. Do you think it's OK for a woman to be raped by five or six men? Or if it happened to someone like you? My oh God, Jasmine, you're no different from me. OK, guys, listen up. As you know, the superintendent and I have been interviewing the individuals we arrested earlier. We've checked their phones. We found nothing incriminating. We're waiting on the forensic report for Jasmine Harris's clothing, but as there's a good chance she's been sexually active with a number of these boys, it's not likely to be all that useful. There is evidence that places them at the scene, but there is no direct evidence that they committed rape. So, in the absence of DNA and the absence of a statement from Jasmine Harris, we've had to let them go. Well, they're controlling her. She thinks it's protection. Well, we didn't offer her too much of an alternative, did we? Yesterday, a 14-year-old boy dies in my arms. Later on, I find Jasmine beaten up and raped. Now, today, 
She's refusing to do one damn thing about it. I mean, she's barely even acknowledging that it happened to her. I'd like it if the bad stuff was just a bit more spread out. Well, this is interesting. What's that, Eddie? Trajectory of a bullet. It's a ricocheting off the ceiling. There, have it. Right. So unless they were shooting from the hip like white up or something, they must have been firing up. Why shoot the ceiling? Don't know. Strange. Maybe it was a warning shot. All right, but warning who? Gunshot guarantees the police here in minutes, then. Maybe the shooter was trying to help her. We may as well jack in. Yeah, where's that? No witness statement, no conclusive evidence, no case. You can't just drop it. Well, Jasmine Harris is a hostile witness in a rape case where she's the victim. Good luck turning that one around. Well, I think Max has got a point. But it would mean dropping a rape case and closing the books on the murder of a 14-year-old boy. And I don't think I could live with that. So what have we got to build on? In truth, sir, not much. Well, we could have more than we thought. We think the person who fired the shot at the rape scene might have been trying to break it up. So maybe there's one decent individual in the mix. Maybe. OK, Mickey, play the CCTV and see if it backs it up. OK. So here we've got Jasmine being led in. The two that we have identified, Wilson and Simmons, here. If we fast forward, another couple of people turn up. This guy in the hoodie is Derek Bailey. Now, he was the last one to go in. This was about 17.45. Now, it all goes quiet for a minute until here, 17.46. That's the same time that calls started coming in about a gunshot. OK, play it on. OK, Simmons, Wilson and Bailey, he's last to leave. Hold on, Mickey, rewind that back. Right, OK. So, Jasmine is inside, Derek... Bailey comes out, and right there, look, why does he stop? Was he thinking about going back in and checking on her? So you think he fired the gun to stop the rep? So why haven't we brought this guy in? We can't find him. Stevie and I spoke to him yesterday. But... It was just a fishing trip at that point. Oh, well, we need to trace him. Well, we've got no friendly witnesses. Well, Jasmine may or may not have had a flatmate, a girl called Willow. Well, this could be our last stab. We need to work it. If we're giving this our rule, then I reckon we dismantle the drug outfit on the Parkway. That's genius. So, what, a 14-year-old boy gets murdered? The Parkway crew run the drug trade on the estate. We've got firearms and drugs out on the streets. We make arrests on that basis. We might be able to break up the gang. If we break up the gang, then Jasmine and everyone else might feel more confident about giving evidence. Exactly. Right, let's go for it. That's Colin Simmons, Gary Wilson, Derek Bailey. We know the targets. Take a seat, Willow. So, why am I here? I'm trying to track down a fellow called Derek Bailey. Do you know him? Yeah, but I don't know where he is. Do you know what Jasmine's connection to him is? Jasmine's girlfriend? No, she's Wilson's girl. Gary Wilson's? Is Jasmine his wifey? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's so funny? Wifey, Link. At the end of the day, we're all just their bitches. What? You know, I look at Jasmine and I look at you. You're bright, you're funny. You know, there's a spark there. Why on earth do you let this happen, eh? Why? Tell me. Because that's just how it works. There's Wilson. Touching base with Colin Simmons and the rest of his dealers. Something's happening. Maybe he's calling for more supplies. Looks like we've got another punter. There's the cash. Let's see what the gear stashed. What are we listening to? Def Leppard, their fourth album. Hysteria, for many their best. I'm more into pyromania, though. It's got more of a harder edge to it. Here we go. She's picked up a couple of bags. He pockets the gear and he's off. 
tell you what, though, Joe Elliott's vocals never sounded so good. 20 years on. Hello? What's going on here? She dropped the bag off. Topping up. Supplying the demand. Well, she's their mule, all right. The bag's loaded. I mean, how old is that girl? Old enough to work for Wilson. Dunno, 12, 13. She's grabbed the bag. Off she goes to the next drop. We're leaving, are we? Yeah. What's the name to catch a mackerel? Sprat. Whatever. Call it into uniform and we get them to pick her up. Yeah. Roger, she's on her way round to you now. OK, Sarge. She's seen us. Approaching suspect on Askill Road. Excuse me. Have a look in your bag. On your gun, Police! Stop! In pursuit of suspect, heading towards Collins Street. Proceed. We'll cut her off this end. What's your name? Yora. Name! Well. Right, I'm you can't do that. the ID. Yes, I can. What we got here? Ruby Collier. You know what, Ruby? You're in trouble. I'm 13. You can't touch me. Is that why they use you to carry drugs, Ruby? You're a mule, aren't you, Ruby? You know that word, mule. You're being used. You run the risk, someone else gets the money. I don't do it for nothing. Those trainers? Yeah. Who gave them to you? Gary Wilson? I haven't had nothing of him. Who then? Derek gave them me. Derek Bailey? Yep. Well, he's a smart guy, Derek, isn't he? <laughs> Too smart to deal openly on the streets. He lets the crew boys do that. Derek don't hang with the crew no more. No, why not? He's in bother. Why is he in bother, Ruby? Don't know. Where is he now? I don't know. Derek Bailey's gone off radar. Ruby Collier says he's in some sort of trouble. With the crew? Well, that's the message. But it's likely that he fired the gun that stopped the rape. He might be under threat from Gary Wilson. He could be our only witness. We need to find him. What about that kid, Willow? She said that Jasmine is Wilson's girl. <laughs> As predicted, she's right in this. She's a rape victim. And her boyfriend sanctioned it. OK, look, our priority is finding Derek Bailey. So let's get on with that, shall we? Is Ruby still in custody? Yeah. Do you mind if I have a word with her? Well, Mel and Roger have talked to her already. We've got everything she's going to give us. I just want a quick chat, that's all. We're not missionaries, Mickey. We're not here to save people. We ain't here to bury him either. These boys are running wild. They've got more respect for their dogs than they have the girls. No, you don't need to tell me that. So we need to do something. Thank you. Okay. You don't trust us much, do you, Ruby? What do you think? No. That's okay, though. I don't trust you either, never even. Look, I think Derek Bailey's in a lot of trouble. Not with us, but with his mates. I don't think he's hiding from the police. I think he's hiding from Gary Wilson and his crew. How long before they find him, mate? He needs help. Where's he going to get it from? From you. Mm -hmm. Firstly, from you. How's that? Because you're going to tell me where he is. Come on, Ruby, you saw what they did to Jasmine. Yeah, and it probably wouldn't have happened if she wasn't his wifey. Gary had to send a message. But she is his wifey. Yeah. What about you, Ruby? Are you anyone's wifey? Does that make you a link? So you know what it's like? Yeah, I know what it's like. Derek fired that gun to make them stop, didn't he? 
They will find him, Ruby. They are bound to find him. So where is he? Trust me. Like you said, look what they've done to Jazz. See you later. I don't think we haven't got much chance of finding Derek Bailey. I remember if we do, we could be closing the case on the Jazz and Harris rape. So stay in contact and watch each other's backs. Bye. You having any luck? Not yet. Hey, is there a Claymore House on the parkway? Claymore House, yeah, why? Maybe the colleague just sent me that. What'd you say to her? Well, as far as I could tell, all the wrong things. Is that a good lead? Could be, yeah. Claymore House, no number. Give Sergeant Stone the location. You trace barely. 30 from 46. We'll soon find out. Suspect believed to be in Claymore House. But even if we find him, and even if we convince him to give evidence, he's pissing the women without Jasmine. If she doesn't testify, then it's Bailey's word against the rest of them. Well, we only need one of them to fold. And if yeah. this is our last push, then I think we need another yeah. pack of Jasmine. Good luck. Well, I've had a go. Grace has had a no, go. No, 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 no. As far as she's concerned, I've sold her down a river. Well, then you convince her that that's not the case, Mickey. Listen, if I speak to that no, girl... Hang on a minute, right? You've been having a go at everyone about giving up. But you're going to be the first one to phone the tail, are you? Yeah, I'll let him know. OK, thank you. Sir, Liam Martin's mother is in the front office. Thanks, Joe. I'll talk to him. OK. I don't even know why I came here, really. Oh, I can understand. It's Liam's birthday next week. Look, I promise you we'll find the people who killed your son. I heard a rumour they raped one of the witnesses. You see, those boys, they do whatever they want. Not for long. Any breakthrough on the Liam Martin murder? Mm, we're still trying to disentangle the DNA from the crime scene. We know the make and size of the knife, and there were flecks of paint at the entrance to one of the stab wounds. And we got this. Exact replica. You can't make an arrest off a copy. Yeah, thanks, Eddie. Bailey's here somewhere. I'll start at the top. You lot work your way up. You here to have another go at me? I'm not here to have a go, no. So? I need to say my piece. <laughs> here we go again. You are giving yourself away bit by bit. Every time those lads treat you like dirt, you must have to justify it to yourself. And I reckon you probably tell yourself that that's all you're worth, right? Why can't you see what we all see? You talk a good game, don't you? What? At the end of the day, it's not about me. What's best for me? It's about you. Car to car, we pick a one-one. I want Wilson, I want Miller, I want Simmons, I want all those boys to be put away. At any cost? Your future and their future go hand in hand, Jasmine. Yeah, because it's all about my future, ain't it? You wash your hands of my future the second I leave that courtroom. What can I do to make you trust me? Try turning the clock back six months.
Sorry, piling. It's the police. Look, Derek, we know you were just trying to help Jasmine. Derek? from 5-2. 4-3-7 receiving. Sergeant Stone has activated his panic button. Mention of a gun. What's his location? Seventh floor, sir. Right, you seal off the building. I have to try and stop his bleeding. Stay there. He's gonna die. I said, stay there. Okay. Okay. from Sierra Oscar 1. ARV activity on the estate, please advise. Sierra Oscar 1 from 5-2. Sergeant Stone believed held at gunpoint. So floor yet? murder charge. It'll help your case when you come to court. Look, I ain't going to court. No way around it. What did I say? Shut up! Shut up. Seventh floor, sir. You have a choice to make right now. You're making the wrong one. Man with your crew, aren't you? Hard man, especially with the girls. Knock them about, rope them, pass them around like spliff. There's gonna be guys outside. Armed response unit. You're not top man to them. They will shoot you, and they won't think twice. Just put the gun down. Give yourself a chance. Or get stupid and die. Come on, Gary. Come on. There's only one way around this. Shot was over. 
You know what? Yeah. All right. It's okay, Derek. You'll be fine. Leave me alone. I can't. Do you fancy me or something? I just wanted to say sorry, Jasmine. I mean, I'm so sorry for everything that's happened to you. The arrests, the young offenders. I, I could have stopped it. I can't tell you how ashamed I feel. You know you're worth so much more than this, Jasmine. You have so much to respect yourself for. They laughed when they done it. They raped me and they punched me. I just laughed. Make a statement. There was nothing I could do about it. They took me into Nayfield House and just started knocking me about. I don't know what they were gonna do. Come on. Who was the instigator, Jasmine? Who started things? Gary Wilson. Not that the rest needed much encouragement. Yeah. I've spoken to Wilson's brief. They're preparing a statement for the rape and Derek Bailey's shooting. What about Liam Martin's murder? No. That's where it all began. Everything else, Jasmine's rape, the shooting, happened as a direct result of Liam being led to that estate and knifed. We know that. But we don't have a witness or a murder weapon or any conclusive DNA. We're left with a weak motive, hearsay, and a whole heap of circumstantial evidence, mostly CCTV. CPS won't touch this, sir. I don't think there's much we can do, not unless we get a confession. I want you to have to get a confession. I'll see you down there. Something I can do for you, Superintendent? Yeah, the knife. The replica from the Leah Martin murder. Where is it? Filed under him. I freely admit to shooting Derek Bailey. I did so in genuine fear for my own life. While this doesn't excuse my actions, it should go some way towards explaining them. So it was self-defense. And raping Jasmine Harris, ordering your gang to rape Jasmine Harris. That was self-defense too. No. No, that was a misunderstanding. So what about Liam Martin? What about him? You murdered him. I had nothing to do with it. Carl Miller said he did it on his own, but we all know it was you who held the knife. <laughs> You're whacked, old man. I told you. I weren't there. That's not what the CCTV shows. There is no CCTV in Tennyson House. None of it works, anyhow. Yeah, but there are plenty around that do. You see, the thing about CCTV is that it's everywhere. It shows people going into the estate and going into certain houses, and it shows them leaving. I know what you did. I know when you did it. And I don't know where you went. Prove it.
Liam Martin stole from me. He showed disrespect. He had it coming. We've all got it coming, son. Today is your turn. You've got some balls. You've no idea. So, Gary Wilson's confession has brought a timely end to this investigation. And some solace to the victim's family. So, unless there's any questions, I think that's about it. Thank you. You know, there's uh, a word that has come up over and over again during this investigation. Respect. You know it? Yeah, right, of course you do. We all know it. At least I thought we did. But it seems to me that somewhere along the line, somebody changed the meaning. You earn respect these days through violence, power, fear, money, and the blade of a knife. How did this happen? Today, one of my officers had a gun pointed at his head by a teenage thug. Tomorrow morning, that officer will be here, 7 a.m. sharp, to start work. That's respect. Yesterday, Liam Martin died in one of my officer's arms. Today, that officer came in and dedicated himself to getting this result. Respect. Last night, a young girl was raped to keep her quiet. Two hours ago, she gave a statement to the police that will put these thugs in jail. Respect. Yeah, you know, I've been in this job for 35 years, the last 18 of which have been uh, here in this nick. And I love the job now as much as I did when I walked in. And I'm proud of my team and the job they do every single day and the community they serve. It's an honor. Today was one of the good days. Thank you. Statements you wanted, Sarge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never told yep. about Chris. What's that? There. <laughs> Very funny. You right, Mickey? Yeah, yeah. Come down the pub? Uh, I'll catch you up. All right, mate. Callum, what about you? Fancy a point? Yeah. Whiskey chaser? Yeah, done. You a single walk, man? Boom. Oh, dear, that's horrible. Yeah, but with a point, you know? Nah, evil stuff. Oi. No peeking. I can't believe PCs, they always think the worst. Well, usually they've good reason to. Pup? Nah. Oh, I'm dealing with that. Not tonight. It's all kicked off on the Stamford Parade. Yeah, I've got arms. Yeah. Be careful. It says super cop. See, that's respect. No, that's brown nose. All right, let's get these stacks inside right now. Joe, do you need a hand? I'm going to tell the whiskey you're going to buy me. Single malt. Irish. See, there you go, she's all class. Oi. Do you ever get up with stuff like this for the stag do, Sarge? Can't recall. He said to the judge. You've been tempted by that, getting hitched. Never been that lucky, you? No. Married to the job. Hmm. Tell me about it. <sighs> Quite a day, anyway. Yeah. Got through. I'll ask more than that. Guess not. So why do we do it, eh? Perks and the pay, innit? <laughs> Nice. The people. Yeah. Let's get that drink. Yeah, come on, let's do it. <laughs> 